Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the mid-monthly love reading for mid-November through mid-December 2021. Sagittarius Sun, Moon Rising, Venus Signs, and Cross Watchers. All right, what do we have for Sagittarius? Mid-November through mid-December. Eclipse season, <laughs> if I could speak right. Eclipse season, Sagittarius. Wow, what an important message. Wait, there's something better. So this wait card has been coming up a lot for the collective. Um, a lot of other readers that I'm connected with via Instagram. This wait message and there's something better has been constantly coming up. So what I feel like is that right now there could be a lot of confusion because there's a lot of shedding of energies, old ways, especially in eclipse season. So things are changing, transforming. So we want to make sure that we're patient and we wait for the right moment or the right thing, not just jumping ahead just because we feel the eagerness to do so. All right, there's a lot of that um, nervous, eager energy, especially with Mars and Scorpio opposing Uranus and Taurus, and this is lasting like a month, right? So... We want to make sure that we don't just jump the gun. All right, so I'm going to pull one for the main energy, three for the situation. What does Sagittarius need to hear? What is the main energy and guidance? Okay, yeah, work in progress. So this is showing that there is progress. This is saying, you know, keep going, keep doing what you're doing here. All right, so if we're looking at um, relationships and commitments and things like that, it's about progress. Now, this may be a more slow and steady progress. Okay, there's definitely a timing matter here. All right, let's take a look at the situation. So three for the situation, Ace of Wands. Wow, okay, so this can be a very powerful start, a fresh start, a new beginning. Wands, fire, passion, creativity. Let's pull two more. All right, yeah, wow, look at this. Strength, Page of Pentacles, and we have the King of Cups. Okay, so right now I feel like if this is involving someone, even if you haven't met them, or there is somebody else here, I feel like two people are progressing. Now, we're always connected energetically, even if we're not aware. So there could be this energy of what feels like separateness, but that's just an illusion. Now, if this is you as the king of cups this is about needing to stay emotionally grounded now depending on the other cards especially because i'm seeing strength so it could be a show of strength in terms of needing to express yourself or be true to your feelings and emotions be more vulnerable or it can be needing to control your emotions and work on more grounding energy now, the Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, I am seeing a lot of progress here. The Page of Pentacles is about putting the work in. It's about commitment. All right, so I want to take a look. Look at this King of Cups energy. And I'm going to pull some more cards, Oracle cards, but I do want to clarify. Let's take a look at this King of Cups. All right, yeah, so we see Queen of Cups. All right, so we have both <laughs> we have both the queen and the king of cups. This is very interesting. All right, so yeah, if there has been a feeling of separateness, disharmony with the five of wands, fighting or not being on the same page, I do feel like that is ending. Now, something may need to come to a head. There may need to be some communication and discussions here for some of you. All right, so... The world represents Saturn's rings and we definitely 
especially around Christmas Eve, the 24th of December, we have this Saturn and Uranus square. All right, so it can bring about some intense emotions, some rebellion, some feelings of wanting to rebel, but there's restrictions. So I am seeing that there has been some restrictions here in regards to the situation, but I feel like it's a timing thing. So just needing to stay grounded and even at the bottom, yeah, someone may be going through like a big life cycle change, ending, new beginning. All right, so I do feel like that's part of why there could be some feelings of disharmony or feelings of stress, the unknown, but still wait because there's something better here coming up. And that something better could be the timing of everything. All right, so I'm going to pull one from the Oracle of the Fairies. What does Sagittarius need to hear in regards to the situation, please? Okay, love, romance, relationships, self-love. They all go hand in hand. We have a lot of water energy here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with both the King and Queen of Cups. You know, it can be important in regards to our, our heart and heart matters. Okay, yeah, so, oh wow. See, this is definitely a timing thing. The fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and do make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' time either, right? So if someone here is going through something because I'm seeing this temptation, like there could be someone who's involved with somebody else, the timing is off, maybe the situation is coming to an end, you know, Timing here is very important because we this temptation. Are you in denial about an unhealthy habit? Perhaps one that makes you feel guilty. This fairy says that you have the power to overcome temptation, whatever it's guys. So temptation can even be about going back to like unhealthy habits, patterns when it comes to like communication and heart matters. So I feel like breaking out of that box is huge. And we all know the holidays can be more stressful. All right, so let's see what love card we have here from the Romance Angels. Wow, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, right? This Ace of Wands. Maybe someone's feeling this energy. <laughs> they don't know what to do with themselves in regards to this. All right, so let me pull three. Wow, Heal yeah, see, someone's going through healing. Someone's been hurt, and it can be, you know, taking on lower energies of that hurt because there's healing that needs to happen. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. See that? All right. So spirit is sending a lot of love and confirmation here. Two more. We have sunglasses. Oh, yeah. So someone's watching, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out, maybe playing a game here, reeling you back, you know, in, throwing you back out could be part of this unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. So I do feel like there are going to be some big improvements here. Patience is needed. There's a timing process here. So new love for some of you, you know, there is this new situation coming into play. So just wait for the right timing. And I feel like it's because someone here is going through a healing, even if we're not aware of it. So I hope that you guys enjoy this reading. If you're interested in any of my services, if you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, that information is all posted in the description box below. And if it resonates, definitely let me know. Take care.